Hello guys, so in this video we are going to discuss the problem B from Code Forces around 844. The problem's name is going to the cinema. The problem states that a company of N people is planning to visit a cinema. Every person can either go to the cinema or not. That depends on how many other people will go. Specifically, every person I said that I want to go to the cinema if and only if at least A, I, other people will go. Not counting myself obviously. That means that a person I will become sad if they go to the cinema and strictly less than A, I, other people go or they don't go to the cinema and at least AI other people go, right? So then we have to tell them that in how many ways can a set of people be going to the cinema so that no nobody is sad. So then they have provided us how the how we, how we're getting the input. So they'll be giving us the number of test cases first, then they'll be giving us a number n that would be the number of people in the company. After that, they'll be providing us an array. So this array is basically the people's claim. So what it means is that the ith person says that I want to go if and only if AI people are going to the cinema, right? Cool. Then they have provided us with some examples. So let's try to understand it with the help of an example. So what would be a good example over here? Let's try to understand with the example second, right? So the example second is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Yeah. So what would happen in this case? So the 0, person or the person at the zeroth location so this is the zeroth index this is the first index second index third index fourth index fifth index sixth index okay so the zeroth person said that i'll be happy if i even go alone right so he definitely would go could there be a scenario that no one goes and still it's a valid case no it can't be because if no one goes to the cinema then the person zero would be unhappy he'll say that uh, i wanted to go even if no one was going and i'm still at home so he'll be unhappy so zero has to be here. Cool. Now what about one? Would one be happy sitting at home? No, one would say that oh, one person already went. So zero already went to the cinema, but I didn't go. So I should also have been there. What about two? Now two, uh, two would also say the same. That I wanted to go if there were two people going and two, uh, two people are already there. What about three? Same for three, same for four. Like this cycle will go on, right? And at the end, there was only one possible combination where any, uh, everyone would be happy. So that's if everyone goes to the cinema, only then everyone is going to be happy. So we can say that the answer is one because there's only one possible possibility. What about the first test case? That was one one. So at the zeroth location, there's a person who says that I would go uh, if at least one person is going. The person at the first location says that I would go if at least one person is going. Right. So both of the same, uh, both of them have the same claim. Now, can th there be a possibility that no one goes? So no one goes. Yes, there can be a possibility. Why? Because if no one goes, then one would be happy. That uh, the person at the zeroth location would be happy. That I yes, I am sitting at home, but I wanted to go only if someone is someone else is going. What about the person at the first location? So he also would be happy because of the same constraint. What if both of them go? So one and one both go. Yes, they both would be happy because they have a company of one more person, right? What if only the zeroth person go? So if the zeroth person goes, then he'll be unhappy because he wants a company of one person, right? So I hope that made sense. So over here, very intuitive thing is to do is that firstly, uh, let's sort it up. Now, why we want to sort it up? Because a person with a lower claim would be more willing to go, right? So let's say a person with a value zero can go on himself, by himself itself. A person with a value one would at least need one more person. A person with a value two would need two more people, right? So let's sort it up. So when we'll sort it up, we'll get some array, let's say a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6, right? Let's provide the indices as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now what? So what I can say is that firstly, let's check for the base case. So the base case is that if my zeroth, if my smallest value, if there's one person who's saying that I can go alone, right? In that case, there's no possibility of having a M empty possibility or in other terms what I'm saying is that there's no way you can say that no one goes to the cinema because if no one goes to the cinema then the person at the index zero or the person with the value zero would say that I'm angry because I wanted to go alone right I was happy even if I went alone so this is not a possibility now what's the other possibility other possibility is that all the people go to the cinema would it always be true let's check the constraints so over they ha over here they have said that AI or the num or the claim that the people are making that I want to go with AI people is always less uh, is less than or equal to n minus one. Let me check where they've given. Yeah, so it's always equal to n minus one, right? So even if 
the last person makes a claim that I want to go with n minus one people, it's uh, he, even he would be happy if everyone is going. That made sense, I guess. If let's say n is six, ah, uh, so over here the max value a person can claim is five, right? So then five, uh, if everyone is going, then he also would be having five more people along with him. So even he would be happy. So that uh, this condition was always tr hold true. Like one possibility is that everyone can go. One can go, right? And this is always gonna be true. Cool. The other possibility was that no one goes, but but this would not hold true. This would not hold true as soon as as soon as you have at least one person who has a claim of zero, right? So initially we can set that our result variable is set to one. If no one has a value zero. Or it would, it would be set to two if no one has a value zero. Else it would be set to one, right? If someone has a value zero, I hope that made sense. What's next? So what we'll do is we'll sort it up, like I said earlier. So we'll be having a one, a two, a three, a four, a five. Cool. Now, now we'll be st standing over here. Now we'll check if I have at least so. If I have at least AI elements to my left, right, only then I can go right. Now, would this be a possible case? So let's say I'm uh, right now. Uh, let's say I'm standing at A3. Let me change the color. So let let's say I'm standing at A3. So the person would at A3 would say that I can go only if A3 elements are present to my right or present to my left, right? If A3 elements are present to my right only or to my left only, then I can go. So would This always be a valid case a one a two a three. Would this always be a, a valid possibility? Not really, because what can happen is that the person at a four could say that I also wanted to go. So now three people already went, and it could be the case that a four was actually three itself. So now this is not a valid possibility because a four would be angry that I also wanted to go. Cool. So how do we make a check for that? So firstly, the first condition is that my AI. Should be less than or equal to i plus one. So basically, the elements to the uh, to my left should at least have a uh, the total number of elements to my left, right? These are the total number of elements to my left. Should be greater than or equal to the number of people I I need to go with and the element to my right. So what's the element to my right? A i plus one, right? So when I'm at a three, I'm talking about a four. So the element to my right or a i plus one should be greater than or equal to I plus two, right? If it's greater than or equal to I plus two, that means even if I go go with these people, right? So I'll I'll be three people in total. If its value is greater than I plus two, that would mean he wouldn't care about it because he wanted to go. Let's say with um, AI plus two over here would be become I guess four, right? Yeah. So he'll say that I wanted to go only if there were at least four people. Since that's not the scenario, this is a valid answer. If you are unable to get this logic, try to like uh, watch the video, uh, like a minute or two minutes back, and probably then it would make more sense to you. Cool now. So yeah, that that's exactly what I need to do. I just need, I'll need to loop over the array, and I need to check this condition. If this condition holds for any index, then I can say that I can make a valid pair if I go from the Index zero till that uh, till index i, so this would be a valid scenario, and I'll increment my result for this. So that's it. Uh, let me show you the code for this. So over here, firstly I'm taking n, then I'm taking the entire vector, then I'm sort sorting them, then I'm checking that if my result, uh, if uh, f so after I've sorted it, so if I have a zero, right, it would be at the first first index itself. Itself. So I'm checking the if the value at the first index is zero, then If it's not zero, then I can have a, a value two because I can have two scenarios. That is an empty array, wherein no one is going to the cinema, or the second scenario is that everyone is going to the cinema. However, if the value is zero, in that case, I don't have a possibility of no one going to the cinema because even if no one goes, then the person with the claim zero would be unhappy. So once I'm done with that, then I'm checking the same uh, case over here. That my i should be le less than i plus one. Only then I can be happy, right? 
एंड माई आई प्लस वन और माई एलिमेंट टू द राइट ऑफ मी शुड हैव अ वैल्यू ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू आई प्लस टू ओनली देन द एरे फ्रॉम जीरो टू आई वुड मेक अ पॉसिबिलिटी राइट आफ्टर दैन आई एम जस्ट प्रिंटिंग रिजल्ट सो या दैट सेट फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन दिस वॉज नॉट अ टफ क्वेश्चन बट या इंट्यूशन टेक सम टाइम आई गेस सो फॉर दोज हुर एबल टू डू इट कॉन्ग्रैट्स फॉर दोज हु वन एट एबल टू डू इट आई होप यू गॉट द लॉजिक लेट मी नो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स कुल गाइज थैंक्स लॉट फॉर वॉचिंग दिस दिस वीडियो हैप्पी कोडिंग